as reward. What you call a reward, Cap? Hundred dollars a head. And that's half a man. Well, Captain, for that kind of money, you couldn't get us to drink water and drought time. <laughs> What's your name, mister? Clevin. Luke Clevin. And he's here, my man. Look at scriptures. I figured as much. The scriptures only getting $50 a head for deserters. $100 a head's a fair price. You're telling me this black you're after is a deserter? He's a runaway slave. But he ain't no deserter. And those youngins, I mean, uh, how many you say they was? Five. The political wars of the Confederacy. Must be the awful important if you're out looking for them. Seems to me like the Confederacy could come up with a lot more money than a hundred dollars a head. Maybe. Say a thousand dollars a head. You're crazy, mister. <laughs> That's right, but, he, but a crazy man to go out on a night like this, Captain. It's raining bullfrogs. Five hundred. I whipped that deal. Before we lost that trail in the rain, they were about three hours ahead of us. They're going to be trying to cross over the Union lines. They got to be stopped. That's our speciality, Captain. Come on, boys. How you doing, Miss Weldon? Since you're so properly choosy about your relationship with your neighbors, I wanted to come by and tell you that I just received a cablegram. I'd like you to read. Well, this says you just bought a new condominium. That's right. At 1000 Elysian Park. A nice neighborhood. The best. So if you have a friend that would like to buy my old apartment, I thought I'd let you know first. Good evening, Miss Weldon. Wait a minute, Don. Don? Do you realize what this cablegram means? No, what? Well, since we're not going to be neighbors anymore, um, my rule doesn't apply to you. Hey, that's right. Would you like to come in for a nightcap? Well, I'd like to, but, uh, well, I have this rule. I never date girls that don't live in my building. <laughs> Yeah.